Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. Now I recently brought up standard regex and I was just showing how it could be used and there were several comments from people stating that standard regex is just too darn slow compared to the other regular expression libraries that are out there. Now I'm sure this varies greatly depending on which implementation of standard regex you're using. That is, is it libc++, libstudc++, or is it the version that comes with Visual Studio? And, well, obviously, that's a lot of questions, and I'm not going to run through benchmarks on all of them, but we did get other comments stating that std regex optimize flag can be used to optimize your regular expressions, and maybe that would have some impact. So I thought that I would take a look at that, and I would revisit the example that we had from before, and I'm going to use quick-bench.com to do some quick benchmarks and see if we can see any cost in using std regex optimize. Now, one thing that the documentation states is that using the optimize flag can result in more expensive construction cost for the regex. So using our quick bench, we're going to see if we can measure that. So we're going to start with two different benchmarks. The first one is simply going to create our std regex object using the optimize flag in a loop, and the other one is going to create it without using the optimize flag in the loop. And we are starting with this regular expression that I showed in the last episode on regular expressions that I think is moderately complex and somewhat real world. It has a couple of substring matches. It uses a couple of character classes. Um, it's not hugely complex for sure, but we're also searching relatively short strings because, in my opinion, this is kind of real world how I use regular expressions. It tends to be things like error parsing. If you have other examples, then you'll probably see different results. So we have our first test completed, and we are using the optimize flag, and we're seeing virtually no difference at all. In fact, we're showing technically that the version without optimize is slightly slower to construct than the version with optimize. And that seems illogical and could just be due to differences in timing calculations, but let's just say they're basically exactly the same. They're within less than a quarter of a percent of each other. So let's go ahead and put our regex match in here and see if we see any difference. And again, we are seeing basically no difference at all. The one with optimize is still ever so slightly faster. Now, if you're paying attention, you're probably saying, hey, dummy, why did you leave the regular expression inside of your benchmarking while loop? And that is a great point. And I did that intentionally to show what huge impact actually constructing regex has on your test. So we're going to run this. And we see, again, virtually no difference at all. But we do see an absolutely gigantic difference in the actual numbers for running our loop. So the main cost seems to be whether or not you are reconstructing your regex every time. So this is a strong argument for making sure your regex is only being constructed when needed. And these should, following our rule of consting everything, in fact, be able to be const, possibly even um, static, depending on where they live and how they're being used, or something at a module level, so that you really do not create them more often than you need to. So we're seeing basically no difference at all. So I want to do one other quick thing and say, well, what kind of impact does having our cmatch object be in or out of the while loop have? And just to make sure that we are doing the exact same comparison, I'm going to remove the optimize flag from our regular expression here. So we can see that moving the cmatch into our while loop actually makes this test slower. It's 800 versus 752 for these relative timings. So this is measurable, and it's an interesting case where 
limiting the scope of your variable is actually having a negative performance impact on your code. Although I would still say that limiting the scope of your variable as much as possible, as often as possible, should be your default. But again, if you've got questions, you need to tightly optimize something. Make sure you understand what you're doing. Make sure you measure. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.